in this video we learn about simulation and uh, how to generate waveforms of different signals and to read from our output variable g that we had defined the last tutorial um, so yeah so the tool that we will be using on windows is model sim altera uh, you can download it online like it's a free tool it's called intel model sim altera we'll be providing a link on piazza as well you can this for you can use this for windows for Ubuntu, there's uh, another simpler tool, and if in case ModelSim uh, doesn't work, then we can use uh, that tool on Ubuntu. Uh, for Ubuntu, I think that tool is recommended. Uh, anyway, so let's begin. So in the last tutorial, we had defined this test bench over here, and we were varying x1, x2, and we wanted to read from G. So we were waiting for one nanoseconds as well, and yeah. Also, we have defined this component NAND gate, but it still doesn't know what is the code behind this NAND gate. It just knows that there's some component called NAND gate. It is still not linked to this NAND gate. You don't see any hashtag include NAND gate dot VHD over here. So that will be done by uh, yeah model sim. So the first thing is to uh, yeah. So the first thing is to open model sim Altera. So let's create a project and I'll name my project say uh, my project. An important point is that you would uh, like if you like it's recommended to not save in the same directory as the installation directory because uh, it sometimes causes problems. It was causing problems for me. So I just created a new directory called projects over here. And yeah, I'll just select this folder over here. So yeah, so do change this if, if it causes issues for you. And we just create this project. And the project is created. So the next thing is we want to add our files, VHDL files to this project. So we just click on add existing files. And um, yeah, and just select these two files over here, our NAND kit and NAND TV. We just click over here on open and just add those files. So these are the two files that we want. And the next thing is you, you would want to compile these two files. So we just click on compile and compile now. So the, com the files compiled with no errors, uh, which is pretty nice. So yeah, so the files have been compiled, but they are still not linked. So the next thing is to simulate our files. So uh, yeah, so the library which we had named for this project is work so over here if you look over here like there's this library called work so i'll just uh, open this and remember that the class inside the class of entity inside the test bench is doing the simulation work like the entity of the nand gate is not doing uh, any simulation like the test bench entity is the one which will instantiate the nand gate and then verify it so uh, yeah, so we need to simulate a test bin. So just right click on it and click simulate. So yeah, so clicking on this will open this up. So this is the, on the right side, you can see there's some uh, black window. And yeah, so so yeah, we see, we see pretty much like our signals, which we had defined x1, x2 and z over here but we don't see anything over here so what we do is we right click on our signals and click on add wave add wave uh, add wave over here and add wave over here but still we don't see anything so that's because we haven't run our simulation so so before running a simulation you would like to define the uh, length of a simulation the time of a simulation so remember that we have we were waiting for one nanosecond after every uh, change in the input. So because we changed the input four times, this should run for a total of four nanoseconds. But I'll uh, still keep it say around uh, ten nanoseconds, right? And after keeping this, we'll just run our simulation. So let's call run on a simulation. And yeah, so it has generated some waveform on the right side as we can see. And I'll just scroll to just, uh, yeah, just see what is happening over here. Yeah. So if you look at it, 
at what is happening exactly so from 0 to 1 nanosecond over here like in this period uh, the value so the values of x1 x2 and g can be seen over here so x1 and x2 both of them are 0 and g is 1 which is expected because it's a NAND gateway so only for 1 1 it will be uh, 0 so this is 1 over here for 0 1 as well it is 1 for 1 0 as well it is 1 and whenever x1 x2 become 1 g is becoming 0 and this is at the fourth nanosecond as expected and after that it will repeat itself so okay so the process the the things that you write in the process they uh, repeat themselves uh, for like yeah they repeat themselves indefinitely so that's the reason you specify a, a simulation length over here so that's the reason yeah so that's why that's why they'll repeat themselves over here so it's, it looks like the waveform is correct and yeah so that's how you check and read from g like the uh, if the value is correct or not um yeah so that's pretty much how you simulate in uh models in Volterra and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial